So, Russell Burton, please come up. Again, speakers are nervous, so please be supportive. Hiya, guys. Hiya, Russell. Sorry, nervous. But I'll get through this. Yeah, so if you want to change something, you start with yourself. For years, my soul has been screaming at me. Do something. Say something. Just make this stop. I stood here last week with 250,000 good people. It was an amazing day of unity and a beautiful atmosphere. that will be fine. I remember being saddened and essentially thinking this was about money. Even though I understood the ramifications and the political and the social policy of austerity, it was still about money. If only the people had a bit more money in their pockets, most would be happy to go along with the political narrative. I remember thinking, what a different day Westminster would look today if those 250,000 were here right now yes, supporting the campaign to end the, yes. the rape and the sexual brutality of children. Today, I stand, and I stand with honour, and I stand with pride, but my heart is broken. We stand. We stand battered. We stand bruised. We've had the kitchen sink thrown at us online. But we stand. We've cried a thousand tears. We've opened a million minds. This is it, people. The line is in the sand. Defend this, we wake a million more minds. Defend this, we earn the right to our freedoms. The world is watching, and we're watching you, Westminster. Yeah. And 25 years I've been on the campaign trail of injustice, corruption and child abuse, and many other causes. In that time, the one contributing factor comes up, control. Some of you may know, I made a film last year called Savile and the Nine Circle. I wanted to try and portray a behind the scenes look at institutional pedophilia. It seems since the cradle of civilization, child abuse has been on the map. It's been a system of control by the most powerful of powerful. From the Pharaohs to the Royals to the Bushes, the Clintons, the Blairs, and you, Mr. Cameron. I believe pedophilia is a trickle down effect into society from a control system stemming over thousands of years, enforced by bodies such as the Secret Service, MI5, MI6, Tavistock, and many more, using techniques as applied pressure programming. Let me draw you a picture of applied pressure programming, and I'll try to quantize that into a week. You're in a cell, the door opens, a torturer walks in. The best you can hope for is death. The next day, he walks in and tortures you again. And on the third day, it repeats the process. On the fourth day, the door opens, the torturer walks in. But something's different this time. This time, he rapes and brutalizes you sexually. The fifth, the sixth day, it's back to the horrifying torture. The seventh, more rape, more sexual, more sexual brutality. Five days of torture, two days of rape. Continue with this process and the trauma will force the human mind into its prime directive, survival. It's not, below, not long before the knock comes at the door and you pray to God, please, please do not be the torturer. Welcome to your new psychopathic shillophile. Welcome to your new minister. Welcome to your new TV star, pop star, sports star. Welcome to your new head of social services. Welcome to your new police commissioner. The effects of supply and demand on these monsters ends up bedding into our TV, music and sport. Not to mention the social structure of councils, schools, hospitals, children's social care and the church. All of them selling you a false narrative. All of them rebranding pedophilia as normal. Mr. Cameron, I stand here before you today. Even though I'm repulsed at the man you have become, I understand that the system failed you too. I can only imagine the horrors you must have gone through as a child. But I'm here to talk, not to talk about your childhood. 
I'm talk here to talk about the tens of thousands of children being abused, raped, murdered and trafficked in Great Britain PLC. I'm here to talk about the evil known as forced adoption. Yes. I'm here to talk about Rotherham 1400, Nottinghamshire care homes, Halifax grooming gangs, Sheffield, Leeds, Liverpool, Tell me about Circle and the trafficking of refugee children. Tell me about the man known as Jimmy Savile. Questioned seven times without charge, but yet invited to Balmoral on more than 20 of occasions. Birthdays and Christmas with the Royals. Where were MR5? I forgot. Those guys were too busy asphyxiating themselves, locked in a suitcase with a cattle prod up their ass. Tell me about Ken Clark. Tell me about Ben, ben Fellows. London Weekend Television and your involvement in that. Tell me about Margaret Thatcher covering up for pedophilia. Cyril Smith and a well-known well paedophile known to the police. Tell me about Leon Britton and the snuff movies. Tell me about Lord Janna accused in Parliament of being a serial abuser who attacked children inside Westminster. 14 indecent assaults on a male under 16 between 1969 and 1988. Two incidents of indecency between 1984 and 1988. Four accounts of buggery of a male between 16 years of age in 1972 and 1988. Tell me about Edward Heath, the child killer and serial pedophile. Tell me about Patrick Rock. Patrick Rock, David Cameron's online pornography filter, charged three with three accounts of making indecent photographs of children and in possession of 59 indecent images. They've also known each other 20 years. Tell me about Doug Richard, Dragon's Den star, another multi-million advisor to Prime Minister David Cameron, arrested on suspicion of raping a 13-year-old girl. Tell me about Elm Guesthouse and the role of social and the role of secret services other than masturbating outside the window. Tell me about Hope de la Garenne and Jersey. Tell me about the hundreds of care homes closed, record sealed for 75 years or more. Let's talk about Holly Gregg and Robert Green. Let's talk about Mel Ellis Shaw and Sodexo. Let's talk about Mickey Summers and Nottinghamshire to Council Beechwood. Let's talk about Prince Philip, Epstein yeah. and the House of Fucking Bang Bang. Yeah. Let's tell, tell me about Harriet Harman and paedophile exchange. Tell me about the BBC. Tell me about Golfing Square. Tell me about David Blair. You may know him as Miranda. Church find a Bow Street Magistrate Court for soliciting outside toilets. Tell me about Max Clifford and Stream Fellas. Tell me about Cliff Richard. OBE, summer holiday. More like I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Let's talk about Rolf Alice. Let's talk about Savile OBE. Let's talk about Stuart Hall OBE. Mr. Cameron, let's talk. In the words of Johnny Rotten, have you ever felt cheated? Thank you. Please get that one on YouTube as well. I'm cutting the screen, so I'm thinking. Well done, Russell.